Scottish League Wonder Kid? Is Rayleigh to boot? Definitely want to check this one out. Liel Abada is a 20-year-old Israeli, eight caps already to his name. He's contracted to Celtic. He's basically playing on the right wing side. 10 and a half, 32 million rated, 15K per week as a regular starter. Uh, he's looking pretty good. Not too bad. Definitely room to grow, but 20 years old. Hopefully a lot of these numbers will. Uh, crossing of 12 for that side. Hopefully definitely will grow in that side. Um, dribbling 13s, finishing of 13s, first touch of 12s. Hopefully will also grow. Passing of 12. Uh, these are all numbers that I'd like to see grow up a little. I mean, even if it gets to 15, you're, I would say you're fine. Mentally, positioning is a problem. Heading is going to be a problem, so he's not going to be jumping uh, out of reach to get those balls. Marking of three. That is a massive problem if you need him to mark your man, do any kind of that defensive side of stuff. But acceleration of 15, pace of 14, fantastic to see. Milestones, he actually has a fair bit. You can see he's made a senior club debut, scored his first senior goal. Uh, league, this is the Israeli League champions. Israeli Premier League discovery of the year runner-up. His league goals, top goal scorer, third place. First international cap at age 19. Betford Cup winners. Ladbroke Premiership champions. First international goal at age 20. And then Scottish players, young player of the year. So he has both team and personal trophies. Uh, I can only see that growing from here. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little bit differently on this one. I've been asked to do every two years. So I'm going to do no commentary. I'm just going to kind of show the screens and then fade into the next, you know, next two years until we get to the 10 year uh, mark, the 2033 season. And then we'll go on as usual from there. So let's check them out over the course of the next 10 years. It is the end of the 2033 season, and as you've seen, he had, was contracted to FC Barcelona pretty quickly after the 24 season, uh, and has been here ever since. You can see he's kind of grown a little bit on that left side, still mainly in a, a right attacking midfielder, but his numbers have definitely grown. 17 crossing is fantastic to see. 14s and 15s, finishing a 15 is great. Uh, long shots of 11, okay, I guess he's not going to be shooting from that distance. Marking of six, still a problem. But 16 technique, 17 off the ball, 17 in participation, composure of 16. He has just grown really well. I did not mention this at the beginning, but he does have a potential of 165. So he has definitely, he looks like he's definitely grown into that. Currently not for sale. 375K per week until 35. Regular starter, definitely a nice job. Champions League, 12 appearances, three goals, one assist, seven, two, eight. Fantastic. Uh, La Liga, 29 plus 6, 10 goals, 6 assists, 7.52. Uh, I mean, for a winger, assists is really what I would expect. Um, only 6, I mean, 6 isn't too bad, I guess, but I, would, I guess I would have hoped for a little bit more. Career stats, as you can see, he moved from Maccabi Petatikva Tikva in Israel for 3.6 million to Celtic. Uh, did a fantastic job. I don't know why, I guess they just don't have the numbers there. But he's had seven and above every single season. 714 in his lowest. But a fantastic job at Celtic. Moved for only 26 million in the 23-24 season and has been there ever since he's uh the first two seasons there must have been an issue, I would guess. Oh, 703 is the lowest. But ever since then, he's been fairly pretty much a regular starter. So 752 in the latest season, he is looking fantastic. Milestones, you can see he has definitely got a lot more. I mean, Scottish Writers Player of the Year runner-up, Player of the Season runner-up, uh, Young Player of the Year, Scottish Players Young Player of the Year, bought by Barcelona La Liga champions, Seasonal Best 11s, uh, UEFA Champions League winners, UEFA Super Cup winners. He doesn't have a La Liga, oh, there he goes, Spanish League Player of the Year third place, uh, third place again. Champions League, La Liga, he's got a ton of trophies. Not There you go, Spanish League Player of the Year in 2030. So finally getting it in the Spanish League. Uh, Copa del Rey, La Liga, I mean, he's got everything. You can see top goal scorer, third place. Actually, wow, third place in 32 as a winger. 
Uh, but yeah, he's definitely really done very well for himself. And this is what you want to see. Two majors, I will give you that, uh, 24 and 28 moderates right before that, or I guess sandwiched in that major, but minors and slights, really not a whole lot to look at. And that is a great sight to see. Biography, 18 competition wins throughout his career, is recognized for his talent and achievements with several awards. I'm not even going to list them all, uh, but definitely one of world's gl soccer global superstar. So, I mean, it's amazing to see the numbers that he has put up and has had quite a good career so far. But where does he retire as we always do? Let's check it out. Well, this is his retirement year, 2036, 34 years old after 84 caps, 410 Barcelona appearances. You can still see he's right there. 1.4 to 4.3 million, still getting 275K per week. Uh, but actually he's up until 2037, but that's interesting because he does plan on retiring at the end of this year. Uh, he also retired internationally at 2030. But, I mean, still looking absolutely fantastic. Even acceleration of 11, pace of 13, may not be the greatest, especially for a winger. But still better than a lot of the players that we've seen before. Uh, I don't know if there's an injury crisis or something that we'll take a look at in a minute. But overall, I mean, 7-3-8, 16 plus 6 appearances, 7 goals and 5 assists. I mean, he's only a squad player. Maybe he just doesn't want to be a squad player anymore and thinks, you know what? It's kind of time to go. Considering the lure of a higher profile league, in particular the Premier League, well, that did not pan out for you, I'm sorry to say. Career stats, you can see he just maintains sevens all the way through. It is an absolute sight to see. I mean, definitely right off the bat, you should definitely start scouting this kid no matter what. Uh, and if you look at milestones, he's only grown. The Supercopa de España winners, best 11s. You're not getting any more. I mean, you got uh, player of the year third place. I think we've seen that in the 2033 season. But still a heck of a lot more trophies in his cabinet. Uh, absolutely amazing. Injury-wise, a lot more slights. But that's it. One moderate three weeks in uh, 2033. Fractured jaw in training. Actually, a lot of these are in training, not in matches. You've got two in matches, and that's it. Uh, but overall, I mean, still, slights are a heck of a lot better than what you could expect with some others. But that is it. That is Leal Abada, Israeli-born and just having a fantastic career all the way through 2036. Highly suggest scouting this kid. I didn't even know he was around. I think I'd heard his name on the Facebook posts and things like that. Never checked him out until now. Anticipation of 18, off the ball of 18, technique of 17 and crossing. Yeah, love this kid. Definitely check him out for your saves. Uh, he could do wonders. Please let, let us know if you've used him and how he turned out, because here he's amazing. So anyway, that is it for Leo Labata. I am Sefian FM for the Football Manager Blog Channel saying thank you as always for watching. Take care and enjoy. Mm -hmm.